Council Member Sales. Thank you, Mr. It, so this is to the motion, but clearly it is all part of the larger conversation. But yes, we are we are on this motion right now. But you can talk about recordation taxes. Oh. It, it is all part and parcel. So, <laughs> so um, I, I want to start by thanking the co-sponsors and um, really appreciate the hard work of council members uh, Mink and Jawando in coming up with additional ways for us to um, fund the CIP budget. I'm um, in Bill 1723, and I want to thank my colleague, Chairwoman Stewart, uh, Councilmember Fanny Gonzalez, and Katz for their amendment uh, to the bill to increase parts of the recordation tax to not only help our, um, our middle class families who are going to become homeowners, but our low income families who are going to be um, dealing with um, increasing rents over the next few years. Um, you know, the difference between uh, 50 plus million being generated from people who are moving to our community to invest in the amenities that they're benefiting from. People are moving here because our schools are great, but they will not stay here if our schools do not continue to do well. And so when you move someplace, you move somewhere that's rich with amenities and you want to fund those amenities as a part of the community. Um, earlier this year, I went to South Africa and one of the visits that we did was in a small township and the people were so proud that they used their resources, the very limited resources to build the school. It's, the school was named Zamasa, and it stood for community school. If you live in our community and you benefit from the richness, the diversity, the richness of our students that graduate from our school system, you should want to invest in our schools. I'm so proud of our schools. My daughter graduated from this school. I started the Youth Advisory Council because our schools are so important. Our students are worth it. They're worth the investment if you choose to move here. Whether you have school students in the school system or not, it's part of the amenities and it's part of the richness that builds the fabric of this community. And so I urge my colleagues to adopt this amendment because we all play a role and funding the school system and ensuring that our students have a quality education and a quality building that we should all be proud to invest in. There shouldn't be any discussion about who should have to pay and who should benefit. And if we can reap the rewards and spread that reward to ensure that our renters can stay in their homes and not face evictions, why not? Why not do what we can? And so thank you to my colleagues for, um, you know, really being thoughtful and intentional with this legislation, not just for our schools, but also for our renters. Um, we do have tough decisions to make, and we all play a role in ensuring that we live in a community that's proud of the schools that we build and the schools that we send our children to. I yield.